Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and this video is going to be about forensic genetics and here is the problem what does the uh, forensic DNA analysis say most clearly about suspect number one and as usual I recommend you to pause video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation but uh, do not skip this video because I am going to tell you anecdote and also to tell you uh, physical difference between hairs of uh, people belonging to different uh, ethnic groups. So, uh, if you pay attention to this picture, you would see that these two samples were collected at the crime scene, and here we have fingerprints, DNA fingerprints of. Uh, suspect number one, suspect number two, and uh, DNA fingerprint of the victim. And uh, evidence here, hair and blood. And of course, uh, here is um, DNA fingerprint of the hair and DNA fingerprint of the blood. As you see, uh, blood belongs to the victim, the same um, as you see, the same fingerprint and uh, evidence that is uh, her, its uh, DNA fingerprint belong to the suspect number one. And uh, this is also uh, stated in our problem. So, um, which answer to choose? Answer A, she is innocent. Answer B, she is guilty. Answer C, she was at the scene of the crime. D, someone matching her genetic fingerprint was at the crime scene. And answer E, there is no direct DNA evidence that she was at the crime scene. And uh, I want to comment on the answer D, someone, who, someone matching her genetic fingerprint was at the crime scene. This is impossible because only two identical twins may have the same fingerprint and probability that some person randomly has the same DNA fingerprint as other unrelated person would exceed the number of people uh, on our planet. So uh, every DNA fingerprint is unique. So uh, for those of you who choose answer B, she is guilty, here is my promised anecdote. Imagine that there is a group of medical students that surround the professor and there is examination table in front of them and there is a corpse on uh, that table and professor uh, giving a proposal to his students he is saying every good doctor shouldn't have any emotions and shouldn't feel such feelings as disgust to the corpse so uh, anyone who would be able to repeat the same what I am going to do, would get uh, automatic uh, A on the exam and would be also uh, named student of the year that would help in your career. And he just put his finger in the ass of the corpse and lick it. And a couple of female students uh, fainted right away and uh, nobody wanted to repeat that but one student who wanted um, to succeed in his life very much stepped forward and he said oh, okay i can do it and he just repeat uh, what professor did and couple more female students fainted and couple other throw up but professor said sorry i cannot name you student of the year and give you automatic a on the exam because doctor also have to pay attention to the details. Unlike you, I stick in my index finger and lick my middle finger. So uh, you have to pay attention to the details and uh, if at the crime scene we have um, DNA uh, evidence of that much uh, DNA of the suspect, in our case suspect number one, this doesn't make automatically this person guilty. This just saying us that uh, this person was at the crime scene, probably before, probably at the same time, probably later. So, 
Uh, and also, as I promised, uh, I want to tell you the difference in hair structure of the people that belong to the different ethnic groups or different races. So, uh, does our hairs really different or not? And uh, now you would know at least uh, the answer to this question. Uh, here is the uh, cut of the hair of the Asian. Uh, it's almost um, perfectly round and uh, it is thicker than uh, the diameter is greater than those of Europeans and uh, those who belong to the African descent. So here is the cut of the hair of the European. Uh, it is more elongated, it is uh, similar to oval, but some of the Europeans also has um, hairs that perfectly round, so there are some variations in Europeans. But if we cut hair of uh, people who Africans by descent, we would see that the hairs is um, oval in shape, and this explains why uh, African people has uh, very curly hairs, because as you understand from your daily experience, if you hold a ribbon, it uh, tend to coil by itself, but if you would hold, uh, say, a rope, it would uh, just hang straight. That's why uh, hairs of the Asians straight and uh, hairs of the Europeans, uh, at least uh, half of them, are wavy. In order to be wavy, of course, hairs have to be of the certain length. So, as you see, structural difference of the hairs of the people that belong to different races explains their physical properties. I hope this information were interesting for you and uh, new. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.